Hey there, everyone. This is Alcow playing <laughs> Big Man Legends, the second one. The game, we're in the part of the game where I trundle from one hellish part to a different hellish part to a third kind of hellish part, just constantly. One after the other, and we're moving! We're going to this Israel. I know we should give that third key we got, but the whole reason why I went through that nightmare yesterday to get that, to get that license is because I gotta get out. There's a thing I gotta do. There's a, I gotta find out how to get out of here because there's a secret dungeon out there and I have to play it. I have to. I'm not gonna go shopping yet. I think what I'm gonna... I'm, I'm gonna wait until I'm done with the... thing. Oh, there's a solid wall over this pond. Alright. You can't go further than over that piece of water. That'd be ridiculous. Like, come on. Well, then, you know, they might have to, like, program some interaction with water or something. Like, I get it. I get why they would not. It's just funny. Because it's so blatant. Yeah, so the whole reason I went to get my S rank license and thus making the whole game harder was so that I was able to enter this ruined, and now I can. Oh. Oh, this game is just. It just. It just keeps getting better and better. All right, we're on the water, kids. There's Clam Boy. They're back. Except now, like my guns are worth it, so that's good. Hopefully, here we are on the water. I didn't even know that guy was here. Still aiming for the guy I was knocking around. Oh no, my auto aim changed. Good. Uh, I mean, here it's smart. Well, I forget if I refreshed my healing. I don't think I did. What is my healing situation? Energy canteen. Ah, uh ah, -uh, I cannot energy canteen, so... Take that into advisement. I mean... If I get boxed, like, I'm probably just going to... You know, restart. I'm not thrilled on restarting this fun time, but hopefully it's short. I mean, already I'm seeing multiple doors. That doesn't mean anything, though. Maybe it's because it's just like one single loop. So you got two passageways. You get a chest right here. <laughs> oh, all right. Here we go. Can I shoot you from behind, though, Mr. Mimic? All right, we kind of like coughed there. That's pretty good. Okay, well, all right, here we go. Welcome to a wonderful world of adventure. I got a sword, though. Well, it automatically makes you trip, which is not bad. It's just that then in the process, I fly into you and take an inordinate amount of damage. Like, like considering that is just like basically touch damage. Uh, feels wild to me. If you could drop some health, I'd appreciate that a lot. And doesn't look like you want to? Like, is that what, like, being s rank means? Just means that things stop dropping health? Because I feel like there are better ways to make things harder, but I don't know. Maybe just clams don't own health. That's also possible. The reality of clam. Ugh. I don't miss playing underwater at all. Uh, that's just a fact. Why is this? All right. Well, there's someone there somewhere. I'm hitting them, maybe. Oh, okay. And you got Mr. Chest. Mr. Chest is running away. Mr. Chest is having a bad time. Mr. Chest doing his chest dance. All right. Oh, you do have health. Like, yeah. The reason you want the higher S is for the big money, more money. I'm big into hell, though. Alright, well now, you know what? One thing that the license did good was that it taught me about how to fight these guys. Just get real close and then shoot them before they can put their shield back in front of their face. 
And uh, so you just kind of end up standing around there like an idiot. And because, you know, I have strength now, I am not in the weakened, uh, you know, taking an exam form. I can actually, like, bust them up pretty quickly. So I have a map. This is what it looks like. So, yeah, there was a pathway here. So, I don't know. Hopefully, since it's underwater, it's going to be short. That's my logic. I'm standing by it. Yes, yeah, so Zed Sword! Complete hell to unlock the parts for it. And I don't know if I want to use it ever again. <laughs> it's, it's a pretty good deal. And this is why I think it's unfortunate. Like, maybe it is absolutely strong. But the problem is, like, I don't know what is its absolute strength. Like, maybe if you invest all your money into its attack stat, it becomes absolutely ludicrous and a worthwhile investment. But to do that, I need to invest my hard-earned money. And I don't know if it's going to be a good investment. It's kind of a, an issue I have with uh, this game's motto of just everything cost everything forever. Whoops, sorry, I touched the shield. I know you don't like it when people touch your shield. I didn't really mean it. You know, I just kind of took an extra step. And you were in this space where that extra step was taken. Like, it happens. Hope you forgive me, samurai. Alright, well, I'm just going in this direction then. Oh, and it keeps going. Alright, you're probably fake. Right? Whoa, it opened up both. That's fun. That's a... That's a fun little thing. Alright, so... These chests... Okay, so there's a door there. There's a door here. There's lots of doors. If you're into doors, this under... Wait, I need to do something real quick. No, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, so... As of yet... It is not indicating that this thing has floors. <laughs> Hooray! Uh, Alright, I found a sensor. It's probably good. And I have my hydro jet so I can hydrolate. So yeah, just whatever door, man. Just do it, go doors. I got a map. So I can go back to doors. Alright, here's the fun time committee party. Oh, that was a mighty leap. That did not help me. Yeah, like, so the issue there is that, yeah, like, uh, I'm, Okay, what? Change... Target, change target. That guy's on his back. He's not gonna mess up with anyone at this point. Doesn't look like there's any mouse holes here. Like, this is just... No, yeah, you get here for what's in the chest. You get the obvious. I mean, someone put their sensor in the hole in the wall. That's pretty wild. That is pretty fun, you know? That is the peak of comedy right there. Unlimited uh, sensor holes. Newest Twitch darling. But, um... I'm gonna get this. Here we go. I've been careful about not looking at how much money I have now. I want it to be a shock and a good time. And here's a ton of it. Yeah, I figured that a big part of this was going to be a ton of me. Alright, look. In the map, I'll see that I went here. There is no other path. This is just where it is. And the thing goes beep, beep, beep. Because it likes to beep, beep, beep. Can you shoot? Yes, yeah, so you can only shoot them while they're activated and doing fun things. There's a possibility that this one has something in it, though. It does not. I, I don't know. I'm gonna sit behind you and try to sword you and hit myself in the face. It's a pretty good sword. I mean, I like the design of the sword. The animation is cool. I just... The sword clearly has... Uh, a learning curve like that's that's just it that's just the reality of it learning curve weapons Look at that. all right so something's behind this chest and i'm targeting it right now all right it's gonna be a samurai and something else maybe all right well hey samurai friend i'm shooting you in the face what you gonna do about that Weep in disgrace. Oh, that's mean. I don't know. Uh, that feels judgy more, more, more than anything. Like it's not what I meant. I'm, but it is what I said, and so that's why I'm apologizing. As the last thing you're gonna. Hear. All right, and there's BDBD. BD. All right, so there's fun stuff going on in the back. 
cool. Let's check out this box, which is probably trap. You know what? What if at that very first crossroad at this place, there was one of those item detectors that you can use to detect if a chest is a trap or not? Yeah, well, I mean, I made a choice. Yeah. It's pretty fun. Ah, shoot, 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 shoot. That's what I get for uh, pressing buttons. Well, pressing the wrong button. Wee! Alright. Oh, you're, you're an enemy too. Everyone's so mean in this dungeon. You gotta work so hard to unlock the gates to be able to enter. And once you're there, you just get bullied by like everything. It is not a great place. You're not even shooting. Like, you're not even shooting! <laughs> like, I'm holding shot right now! Shoot! Alright, okay. So I did that. That did good. Here I was happy to have the sword, it turns out. Because you can just- you, if you just do it once, you trip him over, and that's good. And afterwards, you can just kind of shoot him down, and everything goes well. By the way, this is all underwater for no reason. Please, please, please watch this at 2x speed. I beg you. And then it'll look like it's more normal speed. Oh my gosh, this game is uh, full of surprises. Alright, so I took a lot of damage there. Yeah, chest. I need to destroy your chest. I need to, you know? It is my obligation as the Mega Man. Oh, you got health, so I'm gonna press the wrong button. Yep. Me. Oh, that health. A good taste in high heaven. All right, so there's a door somewhere, and there's just more stuff in general. All right, is there any? Th this that's just a dent. So okay, now we are in the hallways, so I kind of have to go to the end here. Make sure that on the map it's very clear, because otherwise I'm gonna want to return. It's rooms that are pretty simply coded. All right, welcome to room with a chest and stuff. And two more doors. No floors, but goes on forever as a bonus. All right, I thought I moved to the side enough. That was not accurate. All right, hey, you're dead. Yeah, you feel pretty foolish now. This is the movement necessary to execute movements to move around to get the money. It's not worth it. All right, hey, more crab lawns. Uh, it's clam time! The time for clam and the chest is running around. It's dancing on top of its legs. It looks a bit foolish, but it's down. Down for what? Like, what am I actually saying? I don't know, man. Don't worry about it. I'm destroying this clam. Do you think that chest is real? Do you think I'm gonna get a prize here? That would be fun. I would have laughed if it was not be a prize. All right, very slow moving text. Tell me I got some zennies. All my dreams are coming true. All right, I mean, yeah, the strategy is not be in front of it. So if it's inside a big room, um, its offensive abilities are very little. Good, so I'm not gonna complain. Yeah, I know the strat. Uh, oh, like this. So I surveyed the whole room, right? Alright, okay. I will remember. Uh, it's hallways that I need to fill up. Rooms, I feel like normally it's pretty obvious if there's more to them. I say that, but this one wouldn't be super obvious. Well, it's. Uh, oh, what's that? Oh, it's Blowfish? Man, this is just a return to that terrible place. We are just, like, in the spot where the game just puts its worst foot forwards on, like, every level. Just about everything. And I'm just baffled by the great many decisions that were made. Slowly walking in a donut. Filling up a map. Uh, there's nothing at all in this donut. That's not true. Eventually, there's a door. That's why you gotta walk the donut. Walk the donut with. Oh, it's you. Now we're refighting a boss. A mid boss. That I remember being fantastically dull. 
so cool. It's a good day today. It's a good day in running around an ASMT boss. Uh, that... At some point, there's going to be only one left, and they're going to spend half the fight invincible. I'm looking forward to that one. Running around the sand of me, shooting it in the face with glee. So, yeah. When you run away from an enemy... Oh, no. Don't do... Garbage. Piece of... Alright, well, now I'm not targeting that one anymore. And there's nothing I can do about it, really, because it's just not worth the hassle. Alright. Oh, okay. Change. Oh, my God. This sucks so much. This is just not a good time. It's just not... You, you don't want to shoot him down, all right. Yeah, like, ideally, I feel like I'd run around all of them at all times. I just don't know if that's possible, especially if you're, like, running right into the wall like that. Oh, now you're doing the invincibility trick. Okay, but it only lasted so much. It's very unclear when I'm shoot, like, when I can shoot and when I'm not, when I'm running around. It feels like, all right, did you drop health, actually? No! Good. Good. Very glad to see that. Alright, well, I could make an effort to get their money, but everything is in slow motion, and I feel like spaghetti. It is unbelievable. Like, just the act of coming here and fighting this boss in slow motion has drained me of all hopes and dreams concerning the game that is called Mega Man Legends 2, at the very least. Oh, the game is just keeps shooting itself in the foot. So, okay, so here's here's the thing. I feel like Mega Man Legends 1, they nailed the flavor. Like, they nailed the fun, but, you know, the dungeons... Like, general gameplay stuff was a little bit more lacking, and so they tried very hard to address that, and that they did. And I commend them for it. Like, lots of work was put into the individual dungeons. There's a lot of, like, mechanics involved and whatnot, and that's pretty great. However, I feel like the game itself is not able to keep up with the game mechanics. Like, the way the game controls and behaves and whatnot in general just isn't able to keep up. Or shoot. Okay, I survived that. Like, it's just it's not able to do it. And, uh, a lot of the frustration of playing this game is like, just, I'm gonna die. Am I allowed to run away? No! Okay, I'm not allowed to run away. This may come as a shock. But I am extremely unhappy. Oh, I am extremely unhappy. <laughs>